All right, we begin noon here with breaking news. Virginia Beach divers finally getting the car that drove over the Virginia Beach fishing pier out of the water. A spokesperson with Virginia Beach Police confirms they found one person dead inside. Emily Harrison joins us live now at the Virginia Beach Ocean Front. Emily, investigators say the identification process in this could take a long time. It could take several days. That is, if we ever know who exactly was inside of this car, Jody Saunders with Virginia Beach Police says that they have moved the barge to a calmer location at this point where a forensic team is going to be waiting to open up the car doors in privacy. Saunders says divers found one man dead inside of the car. We're told both the car and the man's description fits with a missing person report filed days ago by a Virginia Beach family. Preparations to get the car out of the water started around six this morning. Divers went into the water by nine and they pulled the car out of the water by 915. Strong winds and rip currents kept divers out of the water for six days as this car went over Virginia Beach's fishing pier on Saturday. Saunders says despite the favorable favorable conditions today, divers still had some trouble getting this car out of the water. When you think about divers wearing, you know, 80 pounds of heavy equipment um, in no visibility with a vehicle on its roof rocking side to side. Um, it, it just, there's too many, that's, that's too much risk. As for why this happened, Saunders says that there's going to be an ongoing investigation. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. Tough day out there, Emily. Thank you. Now, the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier is temporarily closed. A spokesperson with the pier says there could be a delayed opening in March to clear all of the damage.